salutations greetings or things so today I have a really awesome video planned um, as you can see I've gotten a little bit creative today there's a little bit of color going on here you know mama's working with color today um, but I'm gonna be comparing the James Charles Morphe collaboration that everybody seems to have gotten their hand on or they're trying to compared to the Morphe 35B that is completely gone. You cannot find this anymore. And you probably find it on eBay, but to say that Morphe has it, no. But I figured I would do one side with the Morphe palette from the 35B and one side with the James Charles Morphe collaboration. Just so you guys can get a feel for both because I know a lot of people are upset because the 35B is no longer available for purchase. So without further ado, let's get into this video and uh, yeah, continue watching. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids today and I know this is really dirty but it's, you know, it is what it is. This is the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade ESB01 White. It looks just like this. So now that the base is laid down, I'm going to be dipping into the same colors from each palette today or similar colors from each palette today to get the desired look I'm going for. And just to be fair, I have a ton of eyeshadow brushes in front of me. There are also more than these, but um, I'm going to be using one stash of them for one eye and the other for the other eye just so it's even and I don't have leftover residue from okay, So we're gonna go color. in with some blending brushes today. These are from Morphe. This is the M518 brush and this is the M441 brush. They're just nice blending brushes. So I'm not really gonna put a transition shade down just because I really wanna pack this color on first before I do anything really crazy. So for the first color, I'm actually looking at a reference photo of how James Charles did his transition of rainbows because I really like the pattern that he did, but it, um, it's not going to be the same eye look, but I will try and pop a picture of the reference that I'm looking at to kind of help me figure out what color scheme I'm going with. So first and foremost, we're going to start off on the outer corner right here. This is going to be where we put our purples down. So I'm going to jump into this shade right here from the um, 35B palette um, is similar to one of the shades in the new James Charles palette, so that's why I'm picking that one. We are dreamers of the shore. Really pretty color. You know, although I have this palette, I don't use it as much as I should. And I'm hoping this video will kind of help me dip into this palette because I feel like it's just a waste. Now I'm going to be jumping into the shade Escape, which is this purple, this palette is huge, uh, is this purple shade right down here. Right off the bat, what I can tell you between these two colors that I'm seeing is that this one's pulling a little bit pinker, almost like a fuchsia, whereas this one's more like an indigo almost. They're both beautiful in their own right, but so far they're not the same color. I'm actually gonna dip a little bit into the darker purple shade right here. So I'm gonna mix these two back on this side just to kind of make it a little bit more um, matching. Right, and to give it a fair shot, I'm gonna go back into that um, escape shade and touch up this one, make it a little bit more darker. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here from the 35B. This is like a huff. It's almost like a burgundy. It's really pretty. Um, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I'm gonna go in with the M573 brush. 
It's another one of those blending brushes. And then going in with the M513 brush, it looks like this. I'm gonna be dipping into the shade Love That, which is this shade right here. All right, these are very similar. Like, are you guys seeing this? These are very similar colors. Hmm. Pleasantly surprised. All right, now I'm gonna go into a red. Now, um, this is just the Essence Eye Blender brush. Looks like this. Go in with the shade um, Literally, which is this red shade right here. For a red in the 35B though, this is not bad. Okay, to me they look the same. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what? Is it the same shape? To me it's the same shape. Just a wet and wild blending brush and we're gonna dip into a yellow shade So for the yellow shade, I'm obviously gonna use this bright yellow down here in the 35B I'm gonna take this same brush that I used for the yellow and put an orange down. So for the orange, I'm gonna go in with the one with this shade right here. And I'm gonna put this right in between the red. I'm gonna take um, the E17 brush, it looks like this. It's a similar shape to what I just used on this eye. And I'm gonna dip into the James Charles palette. So I'm gonna go in with the yellow and I'm gonna do it the same way I did the other eye. And this is the shade B, by the way. I don't think I said that. Moving on, now we're gonna go into a green shade. So for the green shade, again, since we're working in a smaller space, I'm going to start using smaller brushes. This is another e.l.f. brush, the crease brush. So it looks like this. It's like a little dome-shaped acorn. I'm going to go in with this shade and maybe this shade, but I kind of want to, I don't want to darken it too much, so we'll see how this looks first. I don't really like that shade. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with the M506 brush. Like this. There we go. And I'm gonna dip into the shade Social Blade, which is this green shade down here. Now for the blue shade that we're going to lay down, I'm going to go in with this vibrant blue shade right, right here. And for that, I'm going to go in with the E18 brush, it's another acorn shaped brush. And then the M321 brush, which looks like this. And I'm gonna dip into the shade Playground, which is this shade right here.
I'm gonna go ahead and blend all this out. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a neutral shade. I'm gonna be taking this shade right here for this eye and another neutral shade for the other eye with the other palette. Um, normally, like you can take a, um, you can totally take a clean blending brush with no product on it at all, but I just wanna make this transition really smooth. So I'm going in with a shadow to kinda help me with this. And then going in, this is a Kat Von D brush in the 50. I found this at TJ Maxx for $7.99, so let's talk about that for a second. Okay. Um. But I'm gonna go into the shade Canvas, which is right here. And I know on camera it looks like it's white, but it's really not. It's a light tan shade. So I'm just gonna like lightly put that on the brush. Cause I don't seven years now on this boat and we all know where we belong. Just wait. Now cut my crease and add maybe some glitter to this look. I feel like it's missing something. What do you think? So we're gonna start by, I'm gonna, I'm just taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair to do this. go in with this right here this is my glitter primer you guys know if you watched any of my other videos that I love this primer so so much I'm gonna use the starlit glitter in 8d01 I think that's the shade yeah or S111. I don't really know how the Makeup Forever shades work with their glitters. They're quite confusing. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna take this white shade first and lay this down. Now I'm gonna go back in with my brushes I used earlier and I'm kinda gonna fix this. I know I was gonna do a cut crease, but it kinda looks a little cray cray, so I'm gonna try and salvage this. Seven years now on this boat and we all know where we belong, just wait. Ooh, wait for our home to show on the horizon soon. Now this turned out compared to what it was looking like. So I'm gonna pop off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, come back with um, everything done besides my lower lash line, and then we'll do the lower lash line. All right guys, so like 30, 40 minutes later, I am back. The rest of my face is done. The only thing we have left to do is the lower lash line. So that is what we're gonna do right now. I feel like this took me forever to finish. Like, 
Oh my god. And I have to go to the grocery store after this, so... Hello everyone at the pig. You will now see what I look like in full makeup. I won't actually look like a bum for once. Wow. Shocker. So back into that burgundy shade for each eye. in with that orange shade. Oh. Almost messed up there, y'all didn't see that. I will say, for both of them, I'm pleasantly surprised with the outcome of this. Like, they're both really, really similar. Which I guess is why they took out the 35B, because it's almost, like, exactly identical. Which is a good thing, so. I like how this green is on the other eye, so to make it even, I'm gonna just put it on this side too. So it's not crazy different compared to each one. Seven years now on this boat, and we all know where we belong, just wait. I'm gonna bring this blue back up into the um, area here. I'm also kind of gonna go back into the green because I feel like we lost some of this color um, both of these palettes are very gorgeous um, in their own right but I mean you don't have to have both palettes you really don't like if you have the James Charles one to me it's almost better to have the James one just because when you look at the James palette as a whole unit um, the thing I like about it is that I'm just taking a light shade right here and I'm gonna put this on my brow bone but anyway the thing I like so much about the James palette is how universal it is compared to the 35B because although the 35B is gorgeous like it is stunning in its own right I mean it's chock full of rainbow colors as you can see the problem that I have with this is that it's not consistent all the way across the board there are a little bit there's there's some shades in here that I wish the formula was different on but in the same statement I like the James Charles one more just because of the fact that you have so many transition shades. You have so many neutral shades. Um, you can do so many looks with this. You don't have to go full out glam. You don't have to do a rainbow look. Like You can just do what you want. And that's why I like um, these palettes. Like... And that's why I like how this palette is designed. You have all your colors on the bottom, like your vi your vibrant jewel tone colors and your neutral warm colors at the top, which is fabulous because it's not so intimidating. Because if you look at the palette like this, you see it's a normal everyday palette. Bring in color and it's like, oh, I can dabble with some other stuff, you know? Like, I really enjoy that so much about that palette. So... Now I'm going to go in with a white liner and line my lower lash line here. I don't want to do black because I don't want to close off my eyes. So I'm going to do white today. And then I'm going to go ahead and line my lower lash line using the Mega Length Lash a mascara from Wet n Wild.
Okay, so for lips today, I'm going to go in with Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. Looks like this. This is my second tube of this lipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and put I'm Nude right in the center of this lip just to give it a little bit of dimension. I'm Nude is a little bit lighter than Celebrity Skin. All right guys, so this is the completed look. Let me know what you guys think. Would you want to try and find the 35B so you can have both? Or would you rather one over the other? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, also, let me know what you guys would wanna see next, what kind of looks you want. I know this is very dramatic and very out there and a lot of my subscribers so far that I've seen are more into the neutral looks so this is a little bit out of everybody's comfort zone but i figured some of you guys would want to know the difference between the two palettes so um excuse my dogs barking they're a little bit loud but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one bye guys